The Ohio State University suspended football coach Urban Meyer late Wednesday night for mishandling allegations of domestic violence against a former assistant coach. Myers will miss the first three games of the 2018 season and lose six weeks of pay. Myers' full 2018 salary would be a pretty big one, $7.6 million. Ohio State also suspended athletic director Gene Smith for the first two weeks of the season. Dennis Dodd is a national college football writer for CBSSports.com, and he joins me now via Skype from Kansas City, Kansas. Dennis Dodd, I have not been following the story, but I'm intrigued. What do you make of this suspension? Well, the suspension, the overall reaction, Tony, has been one of coming up short. It was kind of a middle ground between does Urban Meyer report or get back on the field with no sanctions, or do they flat out fire him? There are people in both camps today, Tony, that think either of those should be a possibility. There were uh, parallel reactions last night. There was an awkward press conference where Urban Meyer didn't really admit to anything. He read a statement that he barely looked up from, like a petulant high schooler huh. who was made to read something. And then, then you read the report that was kind of dumped on reporters at the last minute, 23 pages. There is definitely reason to fire Urban Meyer if you read that report. Really? What's in this report? What are the reasons? Why fire him? Well, the fact that he overlooked the fact that Zach Smith, the former uh, receivers coach, he knew about an arrest call from his wife, Courtney Smith, in 2009, and he treated it by calling the, two, the couple in. And then in the report, it says Shelly Meyer and Urban did not think Courtney Smith was credible, and they dismissed it. In 2015, he went on to lie at Big 12 Media Days last month about his knowledge of a 2015 call to the police about Courtney Smith. And if you dig into the last pages of the report, it looks like Ohio State enabled Zach Smith. They called him, uh, they said he had a record of sexual promiscuity, a borderline NCAA violation, and no action was taken against his receivers coach, not written or oral until his firing on July 23rd. Well, so, I mean, what's the favorable reading uh, of this situation? Is it that Urban Meyer thought, look, the kid's got problems, but I got a better shot at fixing them than somebody else? You know, I, doesn't he, he runs a kind of second-chance empire, doesn't he? Yeah, as a lot of coaches do. Tony, since the beginning, I thought this was a moral and ethical dilemma, not necessarily a legal one, because as a lot of people know in, in domestic assault, there are calls made to the police. Charges are not made. Women want to keep the marriage together. They're afraid for their safety, for the children, for financial reasons. So to, to say there were no convictions in this case is simply not knowing the facts. The fact that Courtney Smith had the, had the bravery to put on the online the injury she sustained at the hand of her husband, I think says a lot here. And for Ohio State not to act on that, for a receivers coach, frankly, I know that sounds crass, you know, he wasn't a higher ranking coach, but even Urban Meyer himself said that he made a mistake leaving this guy on staff. He was the grandson of his mentor and his hero, former Ohio State coach Earl Bruce. Urban Meyer's won, what, three national championships? He's one of the greatest coaches Ohio State's ever had, uh, maybe one of the greatest coaches in college football history. Are we reexamining his legacy today in light of these suspensions, in light of what's in this report? I think that's exactly what we're doing. The reason he's coaching today is three, le three numbers, 9-12. That's his winning percentage at Ohio State. And I think, if nothing else, his legacy is damaged going forward. We now know the price for serial domestic assault, and it's sitting on the sidelines for three games. And I think Ohio State's taking a huge chance here. I'm not saying he actually should have been fired. I don't know the correct answer. I do know this. Ohio State, Ohio State officials are taking a huge gamble they are saying to us, the public at Urban Meyer, that there's absolutely nothing else in his past and there'll be nothing in his future. He can't so much as get a jaywalking ticket, Tony. <laughs> or not only is he out of there, but Gene Smith and the president, Michael Drake. Wow. A lot of money involved in this. A lot of, uh, a lot of fans who put their butts in the seats every weekend as well. Dennis Dodd, uh, college football writer for CBS. We appreciate it, Dennis.